Now there's nothing very new about writing a my swap function. And this one works with integers. So what about, there? Are, there's lots of other things we might want to swap, right? We might want to swap doubles or strings or even cartons. And if we want to do that, we would have to write a different function for each one of those types because this particular function only works with integers. So if we wanted to swap doubles, we would have to write an entirely different uh, function. But notice that there's nothing different about the function except the types that you're using. So there's the types that you're passing. You're passing two integers and uh, we have a temp value. And so those three things are type in and that's what would change. So here's the really cool part is we can create a template function and then it can work with any type that they want to send it. And to do that, we want to preface our function with template. And then we want to specify inside less than greater than brackets. We want to specify the type name. Now this is going to be a variable type, right? Sometimes it's going to be an int. Sometimes it's going to be a double. And we're going to always refer to it by this name, T. That's a really common name to use for a template, for the type that a template is using. So here we're going to use that T. And then we're going to change our function so that everywhere the type that we want to change, we replace it with a T. So here we're using ints, we're going to replace it with type T. And here, type T. And here, type T. Now what we've done is we've created a pattern for what a function is to look like. And now when we call this, the compiler will use this pattern to create whatever my swap function we want to go with whatever types that we want to use it with. So let's see how this works with integers. So this is how it's different in here. Actually, we've already written all the code that we need to use for using it with integers. So we've defined a couple of integers. We printed them out and then we called the my swap. Now we, once you call the my swap with integers, this is what the compiler will do. The compiler will say, oh, here's the pattern. So I'll go ahead and create a function that goes with these values that I'm being sent. And these are integers. So I will create a function that looks just like this. Remember how we did this? Now notice we don't have to do this every time. The compiler itself is doing that. So now we have this function that we can call. I'm going to comment this out because this is not something that we do in our code, but it's something that the compiler does because it just uses this pattern to create one to match this function call. So let's go ahead and run it now. Notice that we're still just calling my swap and my swap is a template function. And now we can run it and we get exactly the same results. So notice we didn't gain anything that time around, but now if we go into main and we say, oh, let's try it with doubles. Okay, so to try it with doubles, double one, we can set this one equal to, and we can create another one. And then let's go ahead and print before and after. Before and then this is the double one. We can print out double one and double two. Now, when we call it, now we'll call my swap again, but this time we're going to call it with these doubles. So we'll just call my swap in exactly the same way, but we'll send it doubles. Double one and double two. And then let's go ahead and print it again after. Okay, now what happens when we call this function, 
the compiler said, oh, here I have this pattern. I'm going to create a function from that pattern, but this time I'm going to, everywhere there's that type T, I'm going to use the type double. So I'm going to replace it there and replace it there and replace it there. And now we have a whole nother function, but this time with doubles. Again, we don't manually do this. The compiler uses our pattern and creates it when it needs it. Okay, so let's see how that works. And there, our integer one works. And now notice that the 43 moved to double two and the 97 moved to double one. So now we created one function and because we made it a template function, we can call it with a lot of different types.